Bronson family, Randy Teller and LaVicia Teller, and also want to continue to keep Mother Watts in your prayers as well. Um, the two meetings that will be taking place is the culinary team have a meeting after the service as well as the mass choir. You have a meeting as well immediately after the service. Prayer will be here at the temple tomorrow from 7 to 9 p.m. Next announcement, this comes from the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood Krispy Kreme fundraiser that will take place November 18th uh, here at the Philadelphia Headquarters Temple. It says, greetings, the Headquarters Brotherhood will be conducting a fundraiser event at the Headquarters Temple on Saturday, November 18th from 10.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. We will be selling original glazed Krispy Kreme donuts at $6 for a half dozen and $10 for a dozen. Again, you can see one of the Brotherhood officers or you can email them at headquarters at fcbrotherhood.com. Again, headquarters at fcbrotherhood.com. Next announcement uh, says joint operations. The workforce announcement says First Church is looking to establish a branding team of creative professionals. If you're a graphic designer, brand strategist, art director, copywriter, creative director, marketing, or advertising project manager, we are looking for you to assist with this important First Church project. You can contact them at um, branding at fcooljc.com. Again, you can email them at branding at fcooljc.com. And the last announcement, uh, this is coming from the Headquarters Youth Committee. Today is the Fall Fellowship Dinner that will be taking place in the gymnasium, room 30. Again, it's, it's put together for fellowship, so you just can't grab a plate and go home. Amen? Yeah, I know some of y'all is going to do that. You come fellowship with your brothers and sisters, and that will take place after the service in room 30 above the gymnasium. And this is just a reminder of the Bronx, New York, um, the next coming meeting. In Bronx, New York, that's uh, November 26 at 11 a.m. and again at 5 p.m. at the Lovanger Theater. Again, the Lovanger Theater, I believe that's the location where we were at the last time we were there. And that's at the Bronx, New York. That will conclude the announcements at this time. Now we turn it over to the most important part of the service. That is the Word of God. Amen. Pastor Gino Jennings. Yeah. Greetings, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> As always, we bear witness there is only one true living God. We thank him for his divine wisdom and his perfect and infallible understanding of all things. We thank him for being the true sender of holy prophets and holy apostles and the way of holiness that we are most fortunate to be a part of this afternoon. Amen. We thank God for blessing us to be back again. Amen. You that are watching, if you're wondering where the webcast been, the Truth of God program was hijacked. We don't know whether it was a group or a person. They hijacked our YouTube channel and wiped it off YouTube. They didn't do this to no other church because the other churches are not preaching now. That's right. But this is so hard hitting and causing so much universal damage. They wanted to do everything in their power to get rid of it. But we're back again now. All the messages that was on our channel, we have them. I want to thank Brother Tony Harvin and C Rock and Roman and Jaru and many of the sisters who aired this program, they kept it going. What recordings they had. 
They kept it going. Also, the TOG kept it going 24 hours a day. Wonderful. So this program makes the devil very mad. Oh, yes. He don't like it, and he wants to do everything in his power to get rid of it, but God have it here. is doing what God purposed for it to do. Save the soul of man. No other holiness church or so-called apostolic is getting the type of results that we're getting internationally. And because of that, devil here, this message is crying so loud, yes. for him it's too loud. But uh, we are determined to shake the devil's kingdom as That's much right. as we can. We want to update you on our baptismal report. We'll get that in the way. <laughs> it's a six-week report. You know we're behind. Yeah. Headquarters 79, Bronx, New York, 21, 6 in Rochester, New York, 1 in Pine Bush, New York, 1 in Niagara Falls, New York, 14 in New Jersey, 34 in Baltimore, 6 in Fredericksburg, Virginia, 4 in Portsmouth, 2 in Newport News, 8 in Raleigh, 24 in Greensboro, 4 in Charlotte, 10 in Rocky Mount, 16 in Columbia, 3 in Charleston, 7 in Valdosta, Georgia, 13 in Savannah, 35 in Atlanta, 12 in Augusta, 10 in Mobile, Alabama, 10 in Memphis, 10 in Jackson, Mississippi, 23 in Orlando, 17 in Tallahassee, 4 in Miami, 5 in Los Angeles, 6 in Sacramento, 15 in Dallas, Nine in San Antonio, 33 in Houston, two in Monroe, Louisiana, one in Pine Bluff, three in Portland, Oregon, seven in Minnesota, eight in Cincinnati, nine in Columbus, Ohio, six in Indianapolis, seven in Federal Way, Washington, 162 in St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> International baptisms. One in Toronto, one in Newfoundland, three in Muskoka, Canada, one in Ontario, one in the Netherlands, one in Ireland, one in Dubai, eight in Perth, Australia, 37 in the Bahamas, 196 in Trinidad, 35 in Jamaica, one in Ethiopia, 12 and Kaikish, Kenya, nine in Johannesburg, three in Cape Town, three in Durban, South Africa, three in Sierra Leone, West Africa, 20 in Nigeria, six in Birmingham, England, 23 in Liberia, 1,027 <laughs> in six weeks. Well, like I said before, so sad now again. Nobody is getting this type of results Nobody. nowhere. That's true. Right. That's right. This is why the devil wants to get rid of this so bad. Yeah, he hates it. It's putting a whipping on the devil's kingdom. Yes. But we are thankful. God is making it possible. Yeah. Now to all the saints, time is getting close. Yeah. To our dedication of our main auditorium. Yeah. And everyone is looking forward to it, God knows. I know I am. Oh, yeah. It's been a lot of hard work being done. Oh, yeah. right. Carpet is being laid. They're trying to finish up the 
finishing touches with the carpet. The only delay I see, our customized doors that I designed, the entry doors. They may not be ready. We'll clean up what's already there. And make it suitable enough until the doors arrive. I hope they're able to speed the process up, but if not, as long as you're able to come in and out and hear the word of God. Uh, we're getting close to putting down the fuse, brothers. Very close. Might be this week, in fact. Don't know, but just be on standby. We have an auditorium that seat about 3,000. and The lower auditorium and the gymnasium will be the two overflow auditoriums. Now, December 28th start our closing year convention for the brothers and sisters. On December 28th and the 29th, that Thursday and Friday, services will be held in the lower auditorium and the gymnasium. We're doing it that way because they give us time to finish everything that needs to be critiqued. Now, I know everybody won't fit, so... You stand in the pulpit and stand around the walls and stand somewhere. Because there are going to be many thousands of people here. So Thursday and Friday, we'll be in a lower auditorium and the gymnasium. Saturday and Sunday, we'll be in the main auditorium. Now we'll be dedicating on that Sunday morning. We'll be having service that Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening at, I believe, what is it, 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock? 4 o'clock, if I'm not mistaken. Now, our sound engineers that will be there one of the reasons why we're having service upstairs, our sound engineers want to critique all the new equipment. Uh -huh. Make sure the sound is good to my ears. Nice. Hey. We'll be able to blast the gospel louder. Wonderful. They'll be able to see it inside and outside. Nice have two screens up on the bell tower uh -huh. and you'll be able to see and hear yeah. everything live. Nice. Nice. That's a wonderful thing. So all the neighborhood that are here, you'll be able to hear it, you'll be able to see it and give you the chance to get yourselves Bible right up as well. All right, Williams, let's go to work in the Bible. Amen. It's time to go to work in the Bible. Brother Nate said, that's what I'm talking about. I want to greet all the churches around the world, especially you of the Caribbean. We're sorry we didn't make the conventions. We sent Brother Taj Taj D. Evangelist did a good job. In fact, I don't see. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it. That's where we get that large number in Trinidad and other areas in St. Louis. We sent him there, and people came ready to be baptized. That's right. When I'm not going to be there, I don't, I don't announce that. Because some people have the attitude, well, if Pastor Jen is not going to be here, there's no need to come. That's the wrong attitude. I am not your God. 
you come for the word of God. Amen. I'm not your God because if I was, <laughs> amen, <laughs> I'd destroy you for not coming. <laughs> Come there, we we'll do you good. I believe that's November, what is it, 26th or 27th, we'll be in New York. 26th? We'll be having one service. We'll just be there on that Sunday, Sunday morning and Sunday night. I won't be there for Saturday. In fact, there's no service on Saturday. We're just there one day. Sunday morning, Sunday night. God willing, I'll be there to bring New York what she so desperately needs. God everlasting word. All right, Williams, let's go to work. Open your Bible anywhere. In the book of Job, chapter 28. All right, let's have it. And we're at verse 28. Yes. And unto man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord. That is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. Do you hear that? Yeah. The Bible says what? And unto man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. That is wisdom. That's wisdom. And to depart from evil. And to get away from evil. Is understanding. The question is, what are you understanding? Hmm. If you're going to depart from evil. And it says, that is understanding. That is understanding. What is it about evil, leaving it, that you get an understanding of? Well, I understand that I won't have no consequences. Yeah. I won't go to hell. If I leave evil alone, mm -hmm. I'll be saved. Amen. That's the most hardest thing to do. That's right. Leave evil alone. That's right. Because all evil don't feel bad and do it. No. No. Amen. 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 There's evil out there. In fact, there's evil in here. Amen. 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 That'll put a smile on your face. Right. Evil is opposite from God. That's why people so badly want to get rid of this message <laughs> because it goes after all evil, all evil. Yeah. Amen. including the evil that's in self. That's right. The evil that's in self is very strong evil. That's right. Self evil is, my Lord, <laughs> you don't want to give up what's in self. But for I know so that God, in me. Listen at the Bible. Romans chapter 7 and verse 18. Apostle Paul looked at himself by the Spirit. That's right. And said what? For I know, I that, in know me, that in me. That is in my flesh. In my flesh. Dwelleth no good thing. Everybody can quote that. Amen. And everybody might as well quote it. Might as well quote it. Everybody in here and everybody watching. There's evil in you. Oh, yes. Someone say, well, how can you have the Holy Ghost and have evil? Have evil. Touch not the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And evil. And evil. Jesus was among his apostles. And evil also was among them. That's right. God was among them. That's right. But Judas still, still was evil. Still was evil. So don't ask me how can good and evil be in the same place. It was in heaven. That's right. Bible says there's none good but one and that one is God. Yes. But the devil was there. That's right. And if the devil can be where God is, <laughs> the devil can be in you. That's right. I, I see people with the devil in them all the time. Yeah. All the time. Every day. That's right. You have to fight to get the devil off of you. Oh, yes. 
You have to want the devil off of you. Oh, yes. How many here and tell the truth? <laughs> How many wants to get rid of the devil and everything? Raise your hand. Everything. Everything. <laughs> I said everything. <laughs> Even what makes you feel good. That's right. I didn't say raise your hand for them that know they need to do it. Them that want to do it. Want to do it. That's a big difference. That's right. Amen. There's some things I wish I can linger around with. Oh, yes. Amen. And it's of the devil, too. It's of the devil. Sure. I know it is with me, Pastor. Amen. I'm being very honest. Amen. There are some things of the devil that I love. Oh, yes. And if it wasn't against the Bible, I'd be there. Yeah. Wouldn't be here. That's right. That is honest. That's right. See, many of us try to be more holy than thou, but you're not. No. If you think you are, I'm here to slap you back in place <laughs> and remind you that you're not. That's right. There are things that is of the devil yeah. that's in your soul. Come on, Jay. That's right. And you love it. That's right. That's why you're struggling with it. That's right. If God didn't speak against it, neither will you. No. Amen. Amen. You hear what the Bible says here? In Romans chapter 7 and verse 18. Listen. For I know that in me. Where? In me. Hmm. Glory to God. Come on. Why do you think the churches don't preach against nothing? That's right. That's right. These preachers are not going to give up nothing. Oh, no. They are not preaching against sin. They are not preaching against evil. No. They are not preaching against the will of the flesh at all. That's right. Only God can make you preach against that. That's right. That's right. In me. For I know that in, in me, me. In me. That is in my flesh. Everybody look at themselves. That's right. I in don't me. hear nobody speaking in tongue now. <laughs> Hear nobody jumping out their chair and shouting. And <laughs> you do good if you get a hallelujah off this one. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Because when you done looking at yourself, oh yes, you have to say you're wicked. Oh yes. Who in here that's not wicked? <laughs> that's right. You better not raise your hand. I get you. <laughs> <laughs> The Bible says, for well, I know that in me, in, this is an apostle. That's right. God called, God sent, God, sent. God made, God taught, yeah. God appointed. Nice. And God appeared unto this apostle here. That's right. And said, I have appeared unto thee for this purpose to make thee a minister. That's right. And a witness. And a witness. And if this man can be honest with himself, yes. what about you? That's right. Do you hear this? For I know, I know that in me, in me, one, one, I was watching one broadcast, yeah, come on. Minister Farrakhan. Uh -huh. He said, am I saying that I'm perfect? He said, I most certainly am free of all sin. That's a lie out of hell. <laughs> That's a lie. Never been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Never had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue in his life. In his life. And he declared that he is perfect, free from all sin. Free from it. Free from it. My Lord. That's a lie so deep out of hell, I wonder how did it get out. That's right. Here was the Apostle Paul here. Amen. He says, I know that in me, in me, that is in my flesh, in my flesh, dwelleth no good That's thing. That's why I don't look down on nobody. That's right. 
You that are watching, you think I look down on you because I preach against sin. I'm supposed to do it. Supposed to do that. I'm sent to do it. That's right. But I am not sent to look down on you. No. Thank God, but I have to crowd against your wrong. That's right. Eh? For I know that in me, in me that is well in my flesh. Where? In my flesh. What is it? Dwelleth no good thing. Nothing good there? No good thing. Mm -hmm. All right, go back to where we were now. Back in I want to just take my time and soak you real good. That's right. That's right. All right. Back in Job 28 and verse 28. Uh -huh. And unto man he said, Behold the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. That is wisdom. That is wisdom. And to depart from evil. And to depart from evil. Is understanding. The fear of God now, as I have said on many occasions, have left That's right. the people. That's right. It's not in the churches. No. Mm -mm. No, no. No respect for God's law. Don't want to hear God's law. That's right. And if you tell them what God say, you're going to have a fight out of them. There is no fear of God. Do you hear that? In the book of Romans chapter 3 and at verse There 18, is no fear of God. Before their eyes. Before their eyes. Now we know that what things soever the law saith. What is it? It saith to them who are under the law. Do you hear that? That's right. The Bible says... You that among you that fear God. That's right. Is the word of this salvation sent. That's right. You that fear God. That fear God. I fear God. Oh, yes. I fear him a lot. Oh, Wonderful. yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. Now, because there's wickedness in you, that don't mean you don't fear God. That's, That's right. right. Let me just get that straight now. Yeah. That's right. Amen. The God Almighty, he is the judge of all things, but... He know where man is lacking and man is lacking oh, yes. in so many areas. So many. That's right. What did he say there? There is no fear of there God. There is no fear of God. Before their eyes. Before their eyes. Now we know that what things soever the law saith. What? It saith to them who are under the law. What else? That every mouth may be stopped. And? And all the world may become guilty before God. How much of the world is guilty? All the world. Nobody's innocent. Right. All the world. Viewers, you that are here. That's right. You're not innocent at all. At all. Everybody is guilty. That's right. Now, some folks say, I didn't do this. I didn't do that. <laughs> I'm not like him. Mm. Oh, I'm not like her. But the Bible says, all the world, how much of it? All the world, everybody may become guilty before God, all the world. That's why I declared everybody have to repent now. Everybody. That's right. I don't That's right. care who you are. That's right. Yeah. All the world all is the guilty world. before God because the world is all in sin. That's right. From pulpit down. There is none that understandeth. There is none that understandeth. Now in Romans chapter 3 and verse 11. Yes. There is none that seeketh after none God. None that seek after God. They are all gone out of the way. What? They are all gone out of the way. Look at you viewers. Amen. Smoking and drinking and gambling and partying and murdering one another. I look over there at the Gaza Strip. Mm. Yeah. You leaders, that's head of countries, yeah. that's afraid to speak out against Israel. That's right. Hamas was wrong that's right. for declaring war on Israel. Yes, they were wrong. Yes. But it did fulfill the scriptures. That's right. War. There shall be wars and rumors, rumors of, wars. of wars. That's right. Israel retaliated. Mm -hmm. Bible says Hagar mm -hmm. is Arabia. Is Arabia. Yeah. And Sarah is Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Right. Amen. Hagar and Ishmael mm -hmm. have the same father. For it is written. Listen. Now in the book of Galatians chapter 4 and verse 22. What is it? For it is written. It's written. That Abraham had two sons. Abraham had two sons. One by a bondmaid. One by a bondmaid. 
The other by a free woman. Free woman. But he who was of the bond woman was born after the flesh. That's Ishmael. Ishmael. Uh -huh. But he of the free woman was by promise. Do you hear that? That's okay. Isaac. Which things are an allegory? Yes. For these are the two covenants. Yes. The one from the Mount Sinai, which gendereth to bondage. And what? Which is Agar. For this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia. Yes. And answereth to Jerusalem, and which now is. And answereth to Jerusalem as what? Which now is. Which now is. And is in bondage with her children. Hmm. These are brothers and sisters by blood. That's right. They have the same father, which is Abraham. Abraham. Israel went beyond declaring war. Yes. Against Hamas. That's right. Israel is declaring genocide. That's right. For Mr. What's his name? Netanyahu. <laughs> he declared he wanted to destroy all the Palestinians. That's right. He went beyond Hamas. He went beyond. That's right. He want all the Palestinians. That's genocide talk. That's right. Now, bombing hospitals. Mm. Refugee camps, mm -hmm. neighborhoods, churches, yeah. mosques, that has nothing to do with a mosque. No. And Biden, because he's so scared and devilish weak, he won't call it for what it is. Right. Israel is committing Murder. Murder. You know, uh, the Secretary of State. Blinken. Mr. Blinken, he said that he don't want Al Shazir. That's the news channel I watch moreover on YouTube. It'll give you the best coverage. He said that Al Shazir shouldn't cover the war in such detail. That's the devil out the hell. The press that work with Al Shazir is being killed. Mm. They are murdering the press. Mm. They are killing civilians. My Lord. That's just running for their lives. Babies. Mm. They are blowing babies' head off. My Lord. Bodies are laying out in the street of women mm. and men. Africa came to their senses and withdrew their support of Israel. Amen. All the countries, mm. the Palestinian life is just as important as the life as the Jews. That's right. Anytime you put the life of a Jew in, hear me good. Right. Above the life of the Palestinian people. Right. And here it's God says he have no respect, no respect of person. Of persons. Use a hypocrite. That's right. That's right. For the whole world. That's right. And God I. All the world. Do you hear this? Back in Romans 3 and verse 19. All the world. May become guilty before God. They are guilty. Guilty. Hamas murdered Jewish brothers and sisters. Amen. Jewish brothers and sisters murdered Palestinians. That's right. Who's better? Who's better? That's right, Amen. King. I said, who's better? What then are we better than they? Do you hear this? Now in Romans chapter 3 and verse 9. I'm going to give you a Bible for this. Nine. Romans chapter 3 and verse 9. What then? Are we better than they? Are we better? Here's a, here's a Jew talk. Here's a Jew. Apostle Paul, a Hebrew of the Hebrews. That's right. Came out the tribe that gave Israel their first king. That's right. And was stopped, thank God, on the road to Damascus. Yeah. Light, hallelujah, shining from heaven above the brightness of the sun. That's right. And God spoke to Brother Paul. Yeah. And Saul said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I'm Jesus whom thou yeah. persecutest. That's right. It is hard for thee to kick against the prick. Amen. 
Now listen at this. Romans chapter 3 and verse 9. Apostle Paul said, what then? what then? Are we better than them? Are we better than anybody else? No. No. In no way. That's wise. what I'm saying. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You Jewish brothers and sisters, you're not better than the Palestinians. And anyone say they are, you are liars. That, that's a lie. I see you uh, out there demonstrating around America and Europe. That's right. Save Israel. All right. <laughs> Others of you, save Palestine. All right. All right. What am I saying? Save your soul. Yeah! That's it. That's right. That's right. All right, thank God, whether you are Jew or Greek, bond or free, there's one thing for everybody to do here. For we have before proved. Do you hear that? Still in Romans 3 and verse 9. We have before proved. Both Jews. Both Jews. And Gentiles. Palestinians. And both Jews and Gentiles. Both Jews and Gentiles that get Palestinians. That's right. That they are all under sin. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Do you hear that? For we have before proved. We have before proved. Both Jews. That the Jews. And Gentiles. And every other ethnic group in the world. That they are all under sin. They are what? All under sin. I'm not leaning to nobody. <laughs> That's right. I stand neutral with Bible. That's it. Nice. Mr. Netanyahu. That's and right. You can quote all the Old Testament Bible that you want. That's right. If you don't repent of your evil. Amen. And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, yeah. which is the name of Jehovah. That's right. Tarry until God fill you with the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Ghost, you know. That's right. And walk with what God declared. That's right. You will never, never step two inches. Mm -hmm. Thank God into the kingdom of God. For we have before both proved both Jews and Gentiles. I'm declaring from God's word. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We have Jews before. out here marching up and down. Save Israel. Say yes. Yeah, save them. Save them. Yeah. Others of you save Palestine. Yeah, I agree. Save them. <laughs> That's right. Amen. The hostages. Uh, on both sides. That's right. On both sides. That's right. Both of you are guilty. That's right. All the Palestinians world. that took hostages and the Jews that took hostages, both of you. That's right. Are evil. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. You Amen. preachers that's trying to side. With Israel and thank you and be blessed. You are go to hell. Yes, you will. You better. Here's Moses. You that is on the Lord's side. That's right. You better give me that quickly now. Yeah. I am not on the side of Israel. I am not on the side of Palestine. I will show you whose side I'm on. That's right. Bible says you that is on the Lord's side. Come to, me. Come to me. So I stand neutral. Hallelujah. Neutral here. With God. And God's word. Telling the Palestinians. And the Jews. You have to come back to scripture. If you can't find it. Just give me what you got quickly now. In the book of Exodus chapter 32. All right. And verse 26. What is it? Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp. Yes. And said, who is on the Lord's side? That's what I want to know. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. All of you nations that hear me. Amen. Don't, don't be on America's side oh, at no. all. No. <clears throat> don't be on the side of America. No. I'm not on America's side. America is of the devil God knows. That's right. I am not on Israel's side at all. At all. Mm -mm. No. I am not on the side of the Palestinian. That's right. You see, I have to deal with these things from Bible. That's right. 
Whose side you on, Pastor Jennings? I'm about to read it right now. Exodus 32 and verse 26. Says what? Who is on the Lord's side? What? Who is on the Lord's side? Correct. Hallelujah. Amen. You that is on the Lord's side, let him come unto me. Amen. Amen. Come on here. That's it. Don't go to Israel. Don't go to Gaza Strip. That's right. Israel, you're hypocrites. You're telling the Palestinians go to a certain part of Gaza. And then you bomb that part. That's How right. in the world they're going to run to another part and you're bombing the whole Gaza Strip. Amen. Amen. That's like me telling you, come on this side of the track. There's honey here. Yeah. yeah. And you come over here, there's nothing but bitterness and poison. That's right. Women with their babies. That's right. Running for their life. Oh, yes. And they're being bombed on that end like they're being bombed on this end. That's right. And uh, Mr. Biden say, well, we don't want a complete ceasefire. What do you mean? We're going to pause. That's right. Anytime the world can stop and take a break for Christmas. Mm. Am I right, I said? Go ahead. Go ahead. Every time war is going on in the world, they stop shooting, stop bombing, that's true. stop killing for Christmas. That's right. Everybody take a day off. That's right. To celebrate a lie. A lie. Amen. A lie have more value to you than life itself. That's right. That's right. Go back to where you are now. Back in Romans chapter 3 and verse 9. What Hear me then? good. What then? Are we better than they? Are we better than they? No. No. In no wise. In no wise. For we have before both proved both Jews and Gentiles. We have before. Proved. We have proved. Both Jews. That the Jews. And Gentiles. And the Gentiles. That they are all under sin. Amen. Nice. Nice. Amen. That's what I'm looking at. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank God I'm not looking at a strip of land. No. No. One of my engineers and contractors here is a Jew, uh -huh. born in Israel. Yeah. And he called me the other day, last week, and we went over some things concerning the work here. He said, I have a personal question I want to ask you. What is your perspective? What's going on in Gaza? I said, I give you what the Bible said. That's right. I don't care nothing about you born in Israel. I'm no. going to point you to the Bible. That's it. The word of God that was here before there was in Israel. Before, that's right. He said, I think Mer America is behind. I said, oh, no, no. This is, this is one time America didn't start this. That's right. Her mouth admitted they started. Yeah. And Israel retaliated. Oh, yes. Now Israel went beyond the bounds of war. And I want to see how many heads of countries mm. call Israel in and indict them Amen. for war crimes. That's right. Anytime Mr. Netanyahu said he wanted to kill all the Palestinians, yeah. well, that's just no better than Hitler saying. He wanted to kill all the Jews. That's right. That's no better than racist Europeans That's right. saying they want to kill all black folk. Yeah. That's right. Language is the same. That's right. You don't look at who mouth it came out of and then downplay it. You want to kill a whole people? That's genocide. That's right. As it is written, there is none as righteous. As it is written. Hallelujah. As it, as is, written, it is written here. There is none righteous. None. None righteous. Glory to God. I thank God for the word. Amen. It put everything in the right perspective. Oh, yes. There's none. There is none righteous. None. That's right. No, not No, one. not one. 
There is none that understand. There is none that understand. There is none that seeketh after God. None that seek after God. They are all gone out of the way. What did he say there? Romans 3 and verse 12. They are all gone out of the way. That's my argument. That's right. Yes. So I am not getting in no parade. Waving the flag for Israel. That's right. I am not getting in no parade. Waving a flag for Palestine. No. No. The only thing I'm a wave is scripture. That's right. And when I wave scripture, it don't take sides with nobody. With nobody. But with God. That's right. Who is on the Lord's side? Who, hallelujah. 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 Who is on the Lord's side? Let hallelujah. him come unto me. Come on here. That's it. Hallelujah. I'm calling for Israel. Right. Thank God and every Palestinian that's walking on the earth. That's right. Come over here with God. With God. Amen. Amen. Lay down your guns. That's right. Lay down your bloodshed. That's right. Thank God and pick up scripture here. That's right. When you're on the Lord's side. That's it. You believe what he believes. Right. Amen. You are condone what he condone. He condones. And you won't stand for what he will not stand for. No. All right, go back to where you are, son. We'll go back in Job chapter 28 and verse 28. I want to take my time and soak him oh, good. Yeah. And unto man he said, behold the fear of the Lord. That is wisdom. Now, uh -huh. the reason why the churches and the world is in the predicament that is in. Amen. No, no fear. fear. No fear of God. More and more and more. No fear. No fear. And they don't mind demonstrating the fear mm -hmm. they don't have. That's right. Preachers don't fear God. I look at YouTube and some churches, different conventions coming on. So many conventions. I just click on women up in the pulpit. Click it off. <laughs> Click on that church convention. Homosexual in the pulpit. Click it off. Click, click that off. Click on that church convention. Mm -hmm. Choirs up singing with little rainbow badges. Letting everybody know they just they condone homosexuality. Click that off. Click that off. That's right. Click on another church convention. Pulpit loaded with women preachers. Click it off. Click that off. No fear. No fear of God before their eyes. What God says now don't matter. Thank God in the ears. That's right. Of the people. That's right. That's why they want to silence this program. That's right. Many right men say I'm just too hard. <laughs> Hell is harder than I am. Oh yes. Hey Amen. You're going to whip the God you was hearing this 24 hours a day when you are wrapped with the flames of hell. And they shall turn away. Burning, them. burning, That's right. hollering, That's yelling, right. and never stop falling. That's right. All because you're too devilish stubborn to obey what I'm preaching. That's right. What did he say here? 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 4. What is it? And they shall turn away their ears from the they truth. They shall turn away their ears. From the truth. From what's right. And shall be turned unto fables. They're doing it now. Oh, yes. No, maybe it's all about it. They're doing it now. Oh, yes. Amen. I travel the world and everywhere I go, mm -hmm. people turning their ears from what's written. From they, the truth. Don't have to be baptized. Don't have to speak in tongues. Right. Don't have to believe Jesus Christ is God. Nothing wrong with women preachers. Nothing wrong with homosexuality. There's two gods now. There's three gods. That's right. Come on! The That's fear right. of God That's right. is gone. Gone. There's only a few people in the earth that fear God from the heart. That's right. Just a few. Just a few. And I'm thankful now. That the truth of God, hallelujah, hallelujah, is part of that few. That's right. Amen. There are many thousands that's a part of this. Amen. But the fear of God is here. Oh, yes. And it's preached here. Oh, yes. And it's going to stay here. That's right. And nobody's going to take it out of here. That's right. That's why I refuse to change. That's right. For anybody. For anybody. Oh, they have offered me so much. 
And I always look at the offer and laugh. That's right, <laughs> and I tell them, anytime you can beat what God offered me, I take it. That's right. No one came close yet. No. Amen. God offered me eternal life with him. Oh, yes. If you can beat that, <laughs> I'll take it. Eternal life with him. No pain. And wipe my tears Yay! away. No sickness. And don't have to preach no more. Glory to God. That's right. The day of the Lord coming. That's right. If you can beat all that, <laughs> I'll take what you said. Amen. Until then, I'm not enticed or lured or considered by nothing. By nothing. And if thing you offer me, if it beat God, then uh, I, I think it over. Think it over. If it beats God. That's right. The being that it won't beat, uh, beat God, I won't even consider it at no. all. No, no. All right, son, what is that? And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. They shall turn away their ears from the truth. And shall be turned unto fables. You know what a fable is? Something that somebody has made up. So, that's right. Fables have been passed down through generations. Oh, yeah. I remember when I was a child, I heard a whole lot of fables. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When a dove landed on your windowsill, somebody died. That's right. I don't care if you never see a dove, somebody still died. That's right. <laughs> nice I was told if you count 12 stars, and go to the end of the block, <laughs> you'll see a casket. Yeah. I tried it. Amen. I was young, I'll never forget it. Summertime. Beautiful, bright night, and count 12 stars. Yeah. I ran down the Oyok Road and looked to my left and right. No casket. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I thought maybe it was on Broad Street. <laughs> so I took off, ran up the Broad Street. No casket. Mm -hmm. Haven't counted the stars since. <laughs> Amen. I was being lied to on both ends. That's right. They say you walk on a ladder, bad luck. Yeah. A black cask, a black cat run past you, bad luck. Bad luck. Throw salt over your shoulder. That's supposed to be good luck, isn't it? One of them. I don't One care if you throw salt on your head. Either you're blessed or cursed. That's right. Eh? That's right. I don't believe in luck at all. At all. Of no kind. I perceive that in all things. I perceive that in all things. You are too superstitious. You're just too superstitious. That's right. What is it? For as I passed by and as beheld I your devotion. As I passed by and beheld your devotion. I found an altar I with this inscription. an altar with this inscription. To the unknown, to the unknown God, God. Whom therefore ye ignorantly worship. Wait a minute. How are the people worshiping God now? He ignorantly worship. Ignorant. 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 Ignorantly. Him. I declare I unto you. Declare. That's it. Unto you. God you, that you, made listen, the world. Listen, you ignorant folk. Yes. I'm trying by the help of God to get you to see there's one God and Jesus Christ is He. That's right. And you need to break off your sins. And turn from your evil way and repent of your sins and go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ yes. and accept all of God's way. That's it. But you're too stubborn. Ignorant. Young man, you're too stubborn. Mm -hmm. You like it out there and drinking and smoking and gambling and partying and shooting and running the streets yes. all night long. Amen. You don't want God until you get in the hospital. Right. When you get in the hospital, then you want someone to sing a hymn. <laughs> That's right. Uh huh. That's right. You want your mother to give you a prayer book. Yeah. Because you're on your way to hell. That's right. She come give you a prayer book and you recite the prayers out the book. You never repent it for nothing. Never you repent. can repeat every prayer that's in the book from cover to cover. Yeah. If you never repent, never hypocrite, repent. you're going to hell. That's right. Right. That goes for you that are here. Oh, yes. That are visiting today. Man or woman. Man or woman. You have one soul. That's right. You decide you're the, you, you can be your own boss now. Yeah. You decide what you want to do. That's it. Save your soul 
or die and be lost. Yes. That's it. Won't be nobody in hell tough. <laughs> no. You didn't know that? No. No, you, you won't be you're tough here. You're tough yeah. here. <laughs> you're stubborn here. Oh, yes. You're hard head here. That's right. You don't fear God here. That's right. When you go to hell, oh, yes. give me the book of Mark. Mm -hmm. Bible said, when thy hand offend thee, yes. cut it off. Cut it off. I want to show you this real good. And mm -hmm. Take my time and soak you a little. In the book of St. Mark chapter 9 and we're at verse 42. You that are here, follow me and hear me good. St. Mark chapter 9, we're starting at verse 42. You that 42. are listening, get this. And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, yes. it is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, yes. and he were cast into the sea. Uh -huh. And if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. Now, let, let's break that down plain. And I want you to make that literal. <laughs> That's right. The hand is an important part of the body. That's right. I got a better understanding of that scripture. God knows. Amen. You can do a lot with your hand. Oh, yeah. And when you fail to have usage of that hand or both hands, right. it's a miserable feeling. Oh, yes. So God says, if your hand offend you, cut it off. Offend you, that means this. If there's something in your life as close to you mm -hmm. and as important to you as your hand, as your hand, cut it loose from it. That's right. That's right. I don't care what it is. That's right. To live with God, cut it loose from it. Cut it off. I don't care how hard it is. Mm -hmm. Cut it off. Cut it off. Nice. Now, you that are looking and you that are here, you judge. That's right. What's in your life that's close to you like your hand is? That's right. Valuable to you like your hand is. Important to you like your hand. That's right. And you don't want to get rid of it. Hmm. What does it mean to you? What does it mean? God of heaven says, cut it off. Cut it off. Break it loose from it. That's yeah. right. And you all got something to break it loose from. Oh, yes. What is it? And if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. Cut it off. It is better, it is better for thee for to thee. enter into life main. <laughs> Glory to God. Nice. Now, better. being saved naturally, if they're going to bomb a building, and for me to escape, I'm stuck somewhere. And I have to cut my hand off mm. to escape out that building. I'm, I'm better maimed, maimed and escaped out that building right. and have my life. That's right. Then they keep my hand and lose my life dying in the building. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now do you get me? Yes. And if thy hand offend if thee, your hand offend you, cut it off. Cut it off. It is better for thee. It is better for thee. To enter into life maimed. Enter, enter, enter where? Into life. Life maimed. Amen. It is better for you to be saved without that thing you love. Then having two hands. Then to have the thing you love. To go into hell. And go to hell with it. Into the fire. Where you going? Into the fire. Where you going? Into the fire. How bad is it? That never shall be quenched. Amen. Get me. Oh, yes. Look at what's in your life. That's right. That's right. That you're holding so tight. So tight. Scared. You know you don't want God to come to catch you with it. That's right. You know you don't. That's right. But you don't want to surrender. Amen. It is better to go with God. It is better for the empty thee. handed. That's right. Yes. That's right. I'd rather go with God empty handed. That's right. Than to have everything in this world. Everything. And be in hell. Amen. 
like the parable he made with the rich man. The rich man. Rich man was in hell. He cried out for water. Oh yeah. Not for glass. Not for an ice cube. No. Thank God, not for a whole pitcher of water. No. He may dip the tip of his finger in Listen water. at this. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 16. And at Follow this, me in here, man. St. Luke, chapter 16, we're at verse 22. What is it? And it came to pass that the beggar died. The beggar died. And was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. And what? The rich man also died and was buried. Uh -huh. And in hell. And hell. He lift up his eyes. Look at, mm. look at this parable. Look at yeah. this. And hell, he lift up his eyes. Being in torments. Wait a minute. What going to happen to you in hell? Being in torments. That let you know it ain't talking about the grave. No. You're not tormented in the grave. You, in fact, you, you aren't, you're unconscious. That's it. You don't know what's going on down there. No. That's right. Uh -huh. And in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torment. Yes. And seeth Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And? And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. Uh -huh. And send Lazarus, that he may dip the that, tip. That he may dip. The tip of his finger in tip. water. The tip. The tip of his finger. In water. In water. And cool my tongue. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. Call my tongue off. For I am tormented. I'm tormented. In this flame. Mm. I'm hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm tormented where? In this flame. Hallelujah. Burning. In this flame. I am tormented. You don't want to give that thing up. You got eternal hell to deal with. That's right. That's right. Fight baptism, fight Holy Ghost, fight Jesus Christ as God, promote your damnable doctrine, but there is flame, flame, eternal flame. That's right. That's right. You got to stay there as long as God remain God. Yeah. Oh, yes. Viewers, what you're holding on to is just not worth it. It's not worth it. You that are here, it's just not worth it. That's right. Amen. That's right. You have all the money in the world, but it don't buy you out of hell. No. You can be as wealthy. I've met many wealthy people. Yeah. Not one yet made a bargain with the devil <laughs> that he uh, put him back on the earth. No way. After God put him in hell. Oh, no. Do you hear this? And he said, and he cried and said, Father Abraham, have Father mercy Abraham, on me. Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And send Lazarus. To do what? That he may dip the tip of his finger. Don't in water. never mind a glass. No. Right. Tip of what are you asking for? The Relief. Tip. That's it. That's it. What are you asking for? Relief. Right. That he may dip the tip of his finger in water. Just dip it. And cool my tongue. Call off my tongue. For I am tormented. That alone let me know in hell mm. your body and go be prepared by the Lord yeah. where it will never burn up. That's right. That's All right. the feelings that you have now. Oh, yes. The hunger. The mm. thirst. Yeah. The agony. Mm. Glory to God the pain. That's right. You're going to fill it fill every it. drop That's true. That's right. in hell. That's right. And at time the parable's made where well, he's asking for his tongue just to be touched. That's it. That's right. With water from the man's finger. And cool my tongue. Cool, cool me off. For I am tormented in this flame. I'm what? Tormented in this flame. I'm trying to keep you out of hell. <laughs> That's right. You can hate me much as you please or say what you want. I absolutely don't care. No. Oh, no. God Almighty is talking here through the Bible. That's right. Through the scriptures here. That's right. What he says. Father Abraham, have mercy. Have on mercy. Me. Can you imagine you in hell? Have mercy. Have mercy. And you will never come out. Never. That's right. Never. Never. Never come out all your wrong mm. that you've done. 
that you never took time to repent for, That's right. you're going to remember. That's right. Yes. That's right. The time you stole. Yeah. The time you murdered. The time you raped. That's right. The time you killed. The time you lied. The time you wouldn't listen to your parents. That's right. Time you ignored God's everlasting word. Amen. Amen. The time you ignored the advice that was given to you that was good and godly. Oh, yes. Time you spent fighting this yeah. program. Amen. That's right. Day after day, yeah, while right. the warning of God was falling, thank God from heaven. Yeah. Amen. While you're down in hell, you're going to remember all of it. Yeah. Remember. The Bible says, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And send Lazarus. Send Lazarus. That he may dip, that he may dip the tip, of his, finger the in tip water, of his finger in water. And cool my tongue. Cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son. Son. Remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things. Do you hear that? Amen. Amen. Do you remember your lifetime received the good things? And likewise, Lazarus, evil things. Evil things. But now he is comforted. He is comforted. And thou art tormented. And you are tormented. And beside all this between there us gonna and be, you, there is a great yeah, gulf. Yeah. Fixed. There are going to be two sides. Two sides. Those that are comforted. That's right. Those that are tormented. That's right. The church will be with the comforter. That's right. Huh? That's right. You see, Jesus is the comforter. Jesus is the comforter. And the church going to be with the comforter. That's right. Them that are tormented, you're going to be with the devil out of hell. With the devil. Young man and young woman, that's ignoring the sound of my voice. Moreover, fighting it. Your pastor's fighting it. You're going to remember this message. Oh, yes. While you are burning, yeah. tossing in every position that you possibly can be in. That's right. In hell. In yeah. hell. Never come out. That's right. Never come to the surface. Hallelujah. My Lord. You're going to stay there long as God remain God. That's right. Do you hear this? But Abraham said, son, remember that thou in thy lifetime. Remember in your lifetime. Receiveth thy good thank things. Thank God you received a good thing. And likewise Lazarus evil thing. Uh -huh. But now he is comforted. He is comforted. And thou art tormented. You are tormented. And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf. There's fixed. a separation. So that they would pass from hence to you cannot. Yes. Neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. Uh -huh. And then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. For I have five brethren that he may testify. All right, testify. go back to where you were. Back in the book of Job. So chapter, I can finish off in Job. Back in Job chapter 28 and verse 28. Follow me. And unto man he said, behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. Now. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord, that's wisdom. And to depart from evil. And to leave the devil alone. Is understanding. That's understanding. That, that's right. Read on. Moreover, Job continued his parable and said, Oh, that I were as in months past, as in the days when God preserved Now, me. when you leave evil. Leave evil. One scripture says, break up your folly ground. That's right. Yeah. You're leaving off everything. That you want to do that's against God. That's right. And brother, huh. that's a whole lot. Oh, yes. Everything. Everything. You're separating yourself from everyone. That's right. That's against God. That's right. You stop hanging around those different crowds. That's right. Those different friends. Yeah. Certain occasions you don't go to no more. That's right. Why? And the Bible says to depart and from, to evil depart from evil is understanding. Is understanding. You're going to leave the church that you're in. That's right. You're going to get rid of your position. You're going to get rid of your title. Why? You understand that's evil. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Glory to God. Right. You understand that's evil. That's right. 
And now uh, the Bible says, depart from evil. Depart from evil. Now God has given us and he's given us understanding. Yes, yes. The scripture says, then open he their understanding. Yeah. understanding. That they might understand the scriptures. That's it. And when you understand the scriptures and what God called evil, you may not call it that. That's right. That's the difference. That's the difference. You see what we call evil <laughs> and what God called evil, two different things. Two different things. That's why I have to call evil from what God called evil. That's right. If God didn't call some things evil, I ain't saying nothing. No. That's true. Are you listening? Woe unto them that call evil good. You see, that's the flesh. That's the flesh. That's you. That's right. That's us. We will call evil what? Good. In Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 1. Everybody 20. here have experience with evil. And did you not say it was good? It's good. Did you not say so? Oh, yes. And do you want to experience that good evil again? <laughs> again. My God, some of us wish we could have that evil every day. That's right. That's right. Amen. But the Bible says, Woe unto in chapter them. and verse. Isaiah chapter 5 and at verse 20. Woe unto them. Woe. There's some punishment coming. Punishment. Yeah. And in that punishment that's coming, you're trying to justify your wickedness here. That's right. God says, Woe unto them that call evil. Woe unto them. That call evil. Evil. Good. Holy. it. What evil has you done? That's good to you. It's good to you. What evil are you planning to do? Mm. That's good to you. Amen. What evil have you done before you came to service? Ooh. That was good to you. <laughs> That's right. And what evil that you're thinking about Thank now to do. that you're hoping <laughs> that right. will happen? That's right. That's good to you. That's right. What evil are you dreaming about? Mm. That's good to you. That's right. I'm coming. Mm. The Bible says, Woe unto them that call evil good and, and good evil. Amen. Amen. I want to soak you a little. That's right. Amen. Give me Philippians. Yeah. Uh, chapter 2, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Let this mind. Let this mind. That's oh, right. yes. Be in you. Amen. That's also in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 2 and at verse 5. Says what? Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. There was no evil in him at all. No evil. No sin. No sin. Right. Now here the Bible says, woe unto them. Woe unto them that call evil good. Yeah. Uh, many, good. Here, many, here. <laughs> many of us is guilty. Oh, yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. See how quiet it is? Very quiet today. That let me know I'm on the right track. <laughs> yes. Right. Nice, That's right. Nice. Amen. That's right. Everybody in here. Amen. Have called something evil. That's true. Good. 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 Amen. Amen. That's the truth of it. Oh, That's the truth yes. of it. There's some sense it takes God to help you yeah. say that's not good. That's not good. That's right. That's right. Because there are some sins right. to the flesh. It's good, 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 and very good. Yes. Very good. That's true. I got a good response to that. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's being honest. Oh, yes. But God said, Woe unto them. What? Whoa unto them. I'm going to take my time right there. Oh, right. Yes. 
right there. Woe unto them. Woe unto them. That call evil. Evil. Good. Doesn't matter what look right in your eyes. That's right. If God speak against it, it's evil. It's evil. Right, that's right. It's not good. That's right. It's not right. That's right. It's not justified until God justified. That's right. Right. Even if your whole family run after it. Amen. If God says it's not good, it's not good. It's not good. For there's none good but one. That's right. And that one is God. That's God. It doesn't matter how much money you make from it. Mm. Amen. That's why in business, you got to be sure you don't break the principle of scripture. You know, I often tell the people, I deal in real estate, been dealing with real estate uh, for over 35 years. I don't ask people, are you married? Right. I ain't asking you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking. <laughs> Come on, <Jay. laughs> Amen. I'm asking, you got finance or is it cash? Right. Don't, tell, don't, don't talk to me about your marital status. That's right. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear none of it. No. If I'm selling a house for 700000 and you come to me with 700000 cash, I ain't going to mess it up. <laughs> no way. Oh, no. Hey. I ask you. Are you married? No, I'm no. single. I ain't saying nothing. Oh, no. Now, if you, if you tell me I'm single, but I want to buy this house with my girlfriend, I don't, don't say nothing to me. No, I don't want to talk about your marriage status, your relationship, because the moment you say, me and my girlfriend going to live here, my girlfriend. Yeah. Right then. Right then. Can't sell you to you. That's right. Because the, we don't justify shacking up, no, no. That's right. living together, not married, no, and I can't sell you a property, so you can shack up in. Right. I got the cash right here, Mr. Jennings. You talk too much. That's right. That's your problem. You talk too much. That's right. I ought to slap you. <laughs> oh, tell, tell me about your personal life. Let's stick with business. That's it. It is a time for everything. That's right. Don't tell me about your personal life. I don't want to hear that. That's right. Amen. The Bible says what? Woe unto them. Oh, we're going to park right here. <laughs> Amen. Woe, woe. Woe unto them. Don't overlook that first word. Woe. W-O-E. That means pain is coming. Whoa. Suffering is coming. Yeah. Punishment is coming. That's right. You're going to be sorry for the decision that you've made. That's right. That's right. You hear that? Woe unto them. Yes. Woe unto them. That call evil good. That call evil good. And good evil. Uh -oh. yeah. If you ever in your life yes. call evil good, good, you better repent. Better repent. That's right. If you ever in your life call good evil, good evil, you better repent. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now let me make it hard, rough. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on. Now. When you whip that woman that's not your wife. Mm. You tell her, oh, mm. girl, you good. <laughs> but you are performing evil. Evil. There's a woe in front of woe you. Woe unto them. That's something. Amen. Amen. On, when you man. tell that man, man, you good. You good. You, 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 you putting it on me. Putting it on me. <laughs> Amen. That's not your husband. Right. There's a woe in front of woe you. Woe unto them. Because 
You're calling an evil act good. 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 Man, that's something. Brother. You are calling an evil act good. That's something, brother. Come on! Dead. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Yes. What else? That put darkness for light. Wait. Amen. You replace God with the devil. That's right. Right. That's right. That's right. When you put darkness for light, for light. you replaced God for Satan. That's oh, yeah. right. That's right. Did you replace God in your life anywhere? Anywhere. Anywhere. Anything. Anything. Yeah. Hear me good. Hear me good. Hear me good. Go ahead. Amen. There are many things that are evil we call good only because we enjoy it. That's right. Amen. Right. That's right. That's right. It's not good to God, it's good to us. Right. 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 Someone said, you trying to be too saved. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a scripture here. Isaiah hey. chapter 5 and verse 20. It hurts me too. That's oh, right. yes. Nice. It hurts me. Oh, yes. yes. Sure. Oscar Peterson sound goods to me. Hey. Oh, Miles Davis. Wonderful. Stan Gatz. Yes. Charlie Parker, yeah. Art Tatum, Amen. Amen. They sound good to me. Oh yes. They don't sound good to God. That's right. God says, Whoa, "Take away the... from me." That's right. The noise of thy songs. I, I won't hear the melody, the melody of thine vows. Ella Fitzgerald sound good to me. Dino Washington sound good to me. Right. Billy Holiday sound good to me. Yes. Right. But God called it noise. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs. In Amos yes. chapter 5 and verse 23. Glory to God. I have to preach it. That's, That's right. right. Take thou away. Take thou away from me Take the it away. noise of thy songs. What is it to God? Noise. Noise. Songs. Noise. I admit that noise sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's evil. Evil. My Lord, my Lord. Mm. Some of you haven't overcome your rap love. Mm. Noise. So like that rap music yeah. going on. You be like Brother Huey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Amen. Come on. Amen. Put him on the spot, Pastor. Be nice. Be nice, kid. Amen. Be nice. Come on down. A whole lot of you love that rap music, don't you? But it's evil. Evil. Some of you still love the blues. Yeah. Listen, that B.B. King. Yeah. Mm. Talking about, baby, you will go down that road. <laughs> yeah, all right. Amen. But God says, What want to them that call evil good? Amen. Amen. Some of you like still Graham Central Station. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sly in the family stone. Yes. Amen. The Savannah Band. Sure. Tower of Power. Oh. You still like them. Amen. But God says, What want to them that call evil good? Glory to That's God. What right. can I say? That's right. Nice. Nothing I can say. Nice. All I can say is that. That's it. That's right. That's it. Woe unto them. Hmm. According to God's word, you're not allowed to like it or even love it. Or even love it. That's why I tell you, I'm not above the Bible. No. The word of God gets me like it get you. That's Wonderful. right. Wonderful. You can't even like the sound of it. 
That's right. You can't even like the sound. Mm. You can't even like the way Prince sounds. Mm. You got that hate the way Prince mm. even sounds. Mm. Amen. Can't even like the sound of James Brown's band. Right. Come on, James. <laughs> Come on. Can't even like the way it sounds. My Lord, my Lord. Can't like the sound of Ray Charles. No, Georgia. What did God say? Back in Amos 5 and verse 23, take, take the, away. Take thou away from me the noise. What is it? Noise. What is it? Noise. A what? Of thy song. I won't hear. I will, for I will not hear the melody of thy vials. Woe unto them that cause what? Woe unto them that call evil good. Oh, we got some dying and coming up and yeah. laying aside. Hold on. Lord, thank God we hear that song we enjoy. We be sitting down. That chant to the sound of the vial. Yes. Do you hear this? Now in Amos chapter 6 and verse 5. Listen at the Bible. Listen to the Bible here. Amos, the chapter, here. Amos chapter 6 and verse 5. What is it? That chant to the sound of the vial. That chant mm. to the sound of the vial. And invent to themselves. Invent to themselves. Instruments of music. Instruments like, of music. Like David. Like David. My Lord. <laughs> they chant to us. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> What do you mean? They That's sang it. along with it. Sing along with it. Yeah. Amen. You chant to it. That's what the Bible says. That chant to the sound they of the Bible. They sang along with it. And invent to themselves instruments of music like David. I'm guilty. He just confessed. <laughs> this is the Bible talking. It's the Bible talking. Something. You see these preachers, these preachers try to present themselves like they up there with God. They're nowhere near God. No way. If they knew this stuff was in the Bible, they'd sit down and be quiet. <laughs> That's right. Yes, they would. There's a whole lot we have to come up to mm. and got to do like God said. Yes. That's right. That's right. The reality shows you got talent. God call it noise. Noise. That's right. Noise. That's right. Mm. Amen. Nice, James. God call it noise. Take thou away from me the wait, noise. Wait, wait, wait. No. Mm. Take thou Hold away. On to it. Take thou away. Mm. Wonderful. <laughs> Which they would win. Take thou away from me. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. We sang that song to be like Jesus. Oh, how I long to be like him. Yeah. Yeah. Do you? Do you? Help us, Lord. I wish this stuff wasn't in the Bible, too. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but it's there. Yeah. It's there. What can I do other than preach it? That's right, Jay. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm oh, talking? Yes. That's right. What did he say? Take thou away from me. The Turn it on. Amen. Turn it on. Take thou away from me. Put the album on. Take thou away from me. Put on the me. CD. Take thou away from me. Turn on the station. Take thou away from me. Hum it. Take, take thou away from me. Hum along with it. Take thou away from me. Sing it. Take thou away from me. That's Think right. of it subconsciously. Take thou away from me. Bob your head to it when you hear it to yourself. Take thou away from me. All that's guilty, say amen. 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 Say it again. Amen. amen. Say it again. Amen. amen. That got all of us. Got all of us. Mm. Lord help us. That's Lord right. Help us. Mm. They haven't repented of their sins. They wasn't baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Mm. Don't have the Holy Ghost. Not walking with the truth. What do God call the songs of Mahalia Jackson? Mm. Noise of thy songs. Nice. You ain't nice. walking with God. He call it noise. noise. He gets no pleasure mm. out of the singing of a sinner. For I will not hear. What? I will not hear. 
What? I will not hear. What did he say? I will not hear. I won't even hear it. The melody no. of thy vines. Mm. Lord, Lord, help us. Mm. That's right. My Lord, my Lord. It's hard to turn that music off, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, it is hard. This is hard. Some men say, well, it ain't hard for them. They don't love music. That's why. Right. But when you're a musician, it's really hard. <laughs> Amen. You can listen to old organ players like Jimmy Smith and yeah. Joey D. Francesco. Sure. Amen. Yes. Lord help us. You like to hear a good bass player like Larry Graham? Nice, nice, nice. Lord help us. Amen. Mr. Marcus. There's a lot of them to, to say. Marcus about. Miller? Yeah. Yes. When you're not honest, with your own struggle. Uh -huh. That's it. You lie to yourself. That's true. I respect the wickedest person living who's honest with themselves That's right. That's right. That's right. than I could a church man or a church one, woman who just live a life of hypocrisy trying to deceive everybody they meet. Nice. That's right. Nice. God knows what you consist of. That's right. That's right. Wonderful. When Logan yelled, he guilty. That's honesty. That's honesty. He yelled it. He said it. You didn't say it, and you are guilty. That's right. Thank you, Thank you. His honesty is loud. <laughs> Your honesty is quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Listen at the Bible. Amos five and verse twenty-three. Take thou away from See, me. Me, me being the musician. A lot of that is hard. Someone say, you, you preaching it. I have to preach it. The word of God hit me too. That's right. Amen. 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 I like to hear the evil singing. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Of Ella Fitzgerald and yeah. Billie Holiday and Sarah Vaughan. Right. Well, only three women I would like to hear sing. Yeah, that's like wonderful. Wonderful. I like to hear the evil playing the of evil. Duke Ellington, yeah. Count Basie, and Art Tatum, and Stan Gatz, and mm -hmm. Earl Garner, and Earl Hines, McCoy Tyner, and Oscar Peterson. And, oh, the evil playing they do. Nice I enjoy it. Nice enjoy it. But the God eyes. Noise. It's noise. Noise. I pray that God help me to hate it. That's right. That's it. Before he take me out this world, I better hate it. That's right. That's right. That's right. See, before you depart this life, you better hate all what God hates. Yeah. Any sin you love, and you die loving it, lost. That's right. If there's one sin and you die loving it, loving it. the Bible says he's going to present to himself a glorious, a glorious church. church not having spot. Not, right. not having That's spot. Right. Not having it. That's right, Jay. Not having a spot. Not a spot. Or wrinkle. Nothing out of place. Or any yeah. such thing. Or any such thing, but what? But that it should be holy and without blemish. What? But that it should be holy and without blemish. Lord, help us. Nice, kid. That's tight. Nice. Yes, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 That's something. He got me too. Amen. 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 Yeah, I can say it got me. It, it condemns my flesh. Yeah. 
Do I want to do it? No. Do I feel like doing it? No. Do I have to do it? Yeah. But do I want to do it? No. No. Do I have to do it? Yeah. Help me too. That's right. That's right. Help us, Lord. Whenever you refuse to be honest with yourself, you're not fit for the kingdom of God. That's That's right. That's right. Woe unto them. Woe unto them that call evil evil good. I can't even call it good. I have to ask God to help me that none of it be good to me. That's right. Because a whole lot of it is good to me. Yes, sure. That's right. Mm. Amen. 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 Woe, woe unto them that call unto them unto them that call evil good. See, a lot of us only categorize categorize that evil yeah. and certain things. You can't. No. It's a blanket scripture. That's yeah. right. That covers everything about your being. Lord help us. And brother, Savior, let me walk with thee. <laughs> yes. Lord help God us. declared it. Woe unto them that call. Do you have a woe? A woe. Over you today. Oh, yes. Amen. You know, you don't have many people. <laughs> in the spirit like they're fighting bees. <laughs> it's a woe on them. It's a woe. I have no one jumping behind the pews with their hand behind their back doing the boogaloo. Why? It's a woe on us. It's a woe. That's right. Mm. What do your flesh enjoy mm. that God hates? Nice thing. That's it. You don't have to think about it. No. No, no. What do your flesh enjoy that God hates? This is old fashioned holiness of a truth. That's right. And I like the modern stuff that's out here. Now. Truly, the word of God get us prepared yeah. for the kingdom of God. He said, not having a spot or wrinkle. That's right. Thank God or any such thing, but that it should be holy for that to take place. He have to get rid of all spots, all wrinkles, and for it to move, we have to submit to God's word. That's going to change a lot of places we go. Amen. Bible went as far as telling us, avoid the very appearance of evil. evil. They didn't say go toward, avoid it. That's right. They sitting there drinking. I don't care who your so-called friend is. Avoid them. Avoid it. You don't get something where they drink around you and you don't say nothing. You don't say nothing. Well, I don't want to offend them. Then you got to avoid it. Go somewhere else. That's right. That's right. The Bible says. Abstain. Hear this. In 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 22. Abstain. From all appearance. All appearance. Of evil. Run to it. Abstain. Not attain. You got it right this time. I got it right. I got it right. Nice. Amen. Right. Amen. About 39 years ago, <laughs> he said attain. That's right. Get it. Amen. He realized how wicked he was. <laughs> then read it right. That's right. Anytime you abstain, the appearance of evil, uh-huh. you shun it. Yeah. Right. right, that's right. You run opposite from it. Right. And you 
strive to avoid those uh -huh. who indulge in it. That's right. Yeah. Avoid and them. Avoid them. Romans 16 and verse 17. It didn't say hold the hand. <laughs> no. And try to justify yourself. Well, I don't drink. He know I don't. But he's drinking around you. The Bible says. In Romans chapter 16 and verse 17. Says what? Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division. Yes. And offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. Do what? And avoid them. Avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Boy, Christ. Avoid the very appearance. Abstain from abstain all appearance it. of evil. Abstain from it. That's right. right. Hmm. That's, That's right. This is what the spirit brought here today. I didn't. I know I didn't. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I was in the pulpit before I came down. I leaned over to William to say, what are we going to work on today? Uh, he was talking about all type of stuff. I looked at him and said, wait on the spirit. That's right. Why don't you work on that? I said, wait on the spirit. That's right. I had the spirit, what he brought, what the spirit brought, never came near his mind. No. Amen. Wow. No. We would like to be saved on our terms. That's right. I mean, if I can be saved and bring some negotiation, I'm cool. Oh, yes. I can, if I could tell the Lord, hey, look, look, Lord, you know, you know. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> yeah. You know, I can hang out in the kingdom. But I want to bring this with me. Yeah. Don't be so hard on that, Lord. You kind of lighten up. A little here, a little here, there a little, there a little. That's right. <laughs> I can't do that. No. Lord, God said, clean your garment. Clean your garments. I am not having a spot. Mm. Nice. A wrinkle. Not a wrinkle. And not even a such thing. My Lord, my Lord. That's true. Ask God mm. to give you a hate mm. for all wrong. That's it. That's it. I didn't say ask God give you just a hate from doing it. Notice what I said. Ask God to give you a hate for all wrong. All wrong. You got to think of it before you do it. That's right. Hate your dream. The man you keep imagining. Lord help us. That woman you'll be imagining about. Mm -hmm. Amen. It don't matter because she married or she married. That don't, that don't stop your mag imagination. It's just your imagination. That's it. Running, running away, away with you. With you. <laughs> That's right. Running away. Is it running? Oh, yes. Sometimes you sit there and close your eyes and say, Lord, help me, please. Help me. Get him out my mind. The question is, do you want him out your mind? Why ask God for something you know you don't want? That's right. Lord, get her <laughs> out of my mind. Get it out. Do you want her out? Get it out. Do you want her out of your mind? For real now. For Do real. you really want her out of your mind? No. Well, I'll stop lying. That's right. That's right. You might as well stop asking him. You try to get him to move something you don't want moved. That's, nice. right. That's, right. That's right. Now do you hear what I'm telling you? Oh, Amen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a whole church witness, witness, <laughs> witnessing to me my, like Logan, oh, it'd be goodness. something. Yes, it would be. Oh, his voice is going to carry something terrible upset. <laughs> Woe, woe unto, unto them, them that call evil good. You call evil good sometimes, don't you? Oh, worry? yes. Yeah. Easy. When he was a three God man, he was calling evil good. Yes, I was. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. He loved it. Yeah. He loved it enough to not to go to church. <laughs> That's right. Stand in his third floor window and believe that God will save him in the midst of thunder and 
lightning and fast, hearing all type of voices. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, James. Ah. When you was out there smoking weed, yeah. Oh, yeah. that taste come in your mouth while you're serving God. Yeah. Good. That's true. Devil bring the taste right up in your mouth. Yeah. Bring the taste of liquor. You take a shot with liquor once in a while. Yeah. Devil bring that liquor up to you. You like, yeah. man, I wish I could drink just wishing it. Wishing it. Is evil. That's right. That's true. Yeah. Woe unto them that call evil good. If you still desire to go in a club, uh -huh. you still desire to have evil. Go in there and dance and shake your hips. You got that desire to go to the striptease club. That's right. Look at Miss Mabel. Yeah. <laughs> One <of the> <laughs> Yeah. Sound like an old stripper, Pastor. <laughs> Sound like an old stripper. <laughs> Come on, Amen. 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 They got Miss, Miss Mabel. Come. Yes. <laughs> Come down the pole upside down. Come upside down. On. Give you a lap dance. My Lord, my Lord. If you just wish, you can still do that. Mm. You're wishing for evil. Evil. That's true. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Yes. The Bible says, Woe unto them that call evil good. Now, let me tell you, show you how tight it is. Yeah. When you look at that woman that's not your wife, and you're like, good gracious. Mm. Come on, Jay! Man, she look good. That's right. She look good, man. Yes. Look good. The Bible says, woe unto them that call evil good. Because that's not your wife. It's not your right, wife. So right. what you done was evil. That's right. But in your eyes, it look good. good. Yeah. Mm. When you look at that man and say, you know, he, man, he's tight. He, he looks good. Every time I see him, he looks good. Yes. If he only knew what I was thinking, oh, God, get him out of my mind. <laughs> my Lord. Your act is evil. Evil. But to you, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. But in God's eyes, woe unto them that call evil good. And what else? And good evil. Nice, James. Nice. Heavy scripture. That's right. I'll be giving the benediction soon. <laughs> Amen. The scriptures. The book of instructions yeah. interrogates us. It's, it, it, it's interrogating us. Yeah. Teaching us to search ourselves. Yes. And be honest. Don't put yourself on no pinnacle. That's right. What for? You ain't there? That's right. That's right. There's no need to put yourself. On nobody's pinnacle, you're not there. That's not right. there. No. God will bring an experience to you and let you see right where you really are. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I thought about the brother. We was on Frankfurt Avenue and he talked to me outside. Beautiful summer day, I believe it was. Out there in the spirit, shaking, thank the Lord, yelling and he said, brother, the Lord delivered me. I said, from what? He said, deliver me from all women. My Lord. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, he said, the Lord delivered him from all women. I said, you don't look at him? He said, no. I'm not moved. I don't, he said, I don't care how fine they are. And he did his jerk. Ah! 
Yeah, you go. <laughs> there was a woman. <laughs> Coming down Frankfurt Avenue. He had on a halter and tight jeans, very tight. Yeah. Very well built, and she was walking. His back was towards her. He was in front of me, so he couldn't see her. I said, so if a woman came up here now. <laughs> My Lord. If a woman came now, you won't be faced. He said, no, man. He said, ah, glory. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, pay up no mind. I said, you mean to tell me if a fine built girl walk here now, he said, brother, wouldn't pay up no mind. Wouldn't faze me at all. I never told him there was this girl coming up the street. His back was to her. He was facing me talking. So I saw. I said, okay. Then the wind, a nice breeze came, and you could smell the perfume. Oh, nice. That caught him. Yeah. <laughs> we was talking, he looked. <laughs> on, there she was. There she was. Halter, jeans on. Mm. He forgot I was standing there. He looked, he said, What well, happened? Good, good Lord. <laughs> He starts he start stepping back. He said, good Lord. He said, you see that, brother? That was the devil. <laughs> I said, no, it wasn't. I said, that was a woman. That wasn't no devil. The devil don't wear jeans. <laughs> He stopped, he stopped, and looked, he said, I made a fool out of myself, didn't you? I said, yeah. <laughs> what you've done, you overestimated yourself. That's right, that's right. And you underestimated Satan. That's right. Don't profess to be where you're not. Yeah. You ain't there, you ain't there. Not there. Because if you say you are there, the God of heaven would allow an experience to come in your life to show you where you are for real. That's right. And they're going to stop you right in your tracks. Oh, yes. Finish up where you are so I can knock off. Everybody all right? Oh, yes. Amen. Listen at this. Yes. Isaiah 5 is still in verse 20. What is it? Woe unto them that call evil good. Call evil good. And good evil. Good evil. That put darkness for light. Put darkness for light. And light for darkness. And light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet. Put bitter for sweet. And sweet for bitter. Notice, it's constantly replacing things. Yes. That's right. What's righteous, what's holy, what's pure, what's clean, let it remain. That's right. Ask God to help you overcome you. That's it. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. When you find yourself working, working, trying to overcome you, you will leave everybody else alone. That's right. Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. All right, you that are here that have not yet obeyed this. You need God to help you to overcome yourself. That's right. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one God of them. God wants you to repent of your sins. Repent. Repent of all of them. That's it. Whatever sinning you're doing, God wants you to repent. Repent. To come to him. Be sorry about them. Then what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. And be baptized. And be baptized every one of you. Everybody have this to do. 
In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Anybody here want to obey the word of God and escape hell and be baptized, stand on your feet. You want it the right way. Wonderful. You brothers that are standing, follow that brother. You sisters that are standing, follow that sister. I don't want no one to misunderstand me and say, this man expect for you to jump up and live holy overnight. No, I don't. No way. Uh, I'm not foolish. No. God Almighty will help you. Amen. Amen. God will help you overcome the hardest thing. You can come on and go that way, brother. Wonderful. The hardest obstacle. God will help you. Amen. That's true. You really want to be like Jesus. Don't be overzealous. And stand up making proclamations and you can't live up to none of them. That's right. Don't do that to yourself. That's right. Build yourself up and then when you fall, you can't take the fall because you set yourself up so high. So high. Just acknowledge where you are and ask God to help you step by step by step to make improvement. That's it. And the God of peace will be with you. All right, be back at uh, 5.30. God be our helper. That's when prayer will start. Let us all stand. Brother Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you and praise you again for thine word. Bless us, O oh God, not only to be hearers, but bless us to be doers of the scriptures. My God, we thank you, Lord God, for the preaching and teaching by the Spirit through the man of God. Continue, Lord Jesus, to strengthen him and help him and give him healing in his body. Father God, remember all the brothers, mothers and sisters everywhere. Remember all those that have heard the word today. Bless them that have not yet obeyed it. Bless them, O oh God, that they may want to turn to, from their ways unto thy ways. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for everything that you've been to us and for all that you've done for us. My God, now bless us as we return again. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.